See also what you can do with the UCAR application here is you can go and play the nice and beautiful track over here and you can also play it for example and then I'm also dragging it. I'm just dragging the nice and beautiful video left and right and center from the actual nice and beautiful UCAR application and I'm also just rewinding and also fast forwarding with my nice and beautiful finger over here and it's also going left and right because I'm pushing the actual scroll bar left and right from the UCAR application where my video and my soundtrack is and I'm placing a video in my soundtrack radio show and also I'm placing two videos of myself inside Nice and Beautiful in terms of the Nice and Beautiful Idonotopia soundtrack on YouTube so that people can see my Nice and Beautiful face also starting the show so that I can go and do great art. But the thing is, every single day, focus on making sure that you understand that my Nice and Beautiful volume channel when I'm talking to the video in terms of talking to you on my Nice and Beautiful radio show and the music in the background is on 10 volume percent in terms of the volume on the Nice and Beautiful soundtrack where I speak in terms of with video is on 10% while my actual tone of the video that I speak to you with is on 100%. And that way I'm understanding that then I fade, I fade the actual soundtrack into 100% while my video goes away. And that's the whole point of making sure that you understand that. And then also at the end of the video, I make sure that I place the audio back into 10% while also the video is 100%. And then I make sure I finish off with a nice and beautiful extension or something new with the video while also playing a video in the background where I have done the extraction of that video with sound to make sure that I can go and cut a certain piece of part from that video to make sure that I can go and place it at the end of my music to make sure I have a steady finish and a nice and beautiful finish of editing my nice and beautiful soundtrack and radio show so I can actually do a better job for you and that's the whole point. See what you guys can do with the editing software over here is understand that here in terms of the UCAR application I did a split with my audio but instead of a split I never split it ever again in that situation because why? I make sure that no matter what that the video just goes into the equation while the audio is just playing without it actually making a split in the actual sound. So I make sure that you understand that in the UCAR application here you can split the program and you can split the video and you can split the audio. But I make sure that in this scenario that I never want to split the program or the audio but I want to keep rolling the audio without making a sudden appearance of something that cuts out for example so my audio is never cutting out but it's just playing along with the video for example when my video comes into play and then the audio is just playing along and there's nothing touching the audio but then what I do is I make a split somewhere differently and I make another split where there's silence in the actual audio and I make a split difference here and then I go and put that volume there on zero and now it seems like the audio was never cutting out in the first place while the video came in and as the video comes in make sure that audio is never cutting out and that's the whole point. And in UCAR application, make sure you're never splitting the audio because otherwise it cuts out. And there's like, it, it's, I mean, it's like 100% and then it goes to 10% and you can actually hear it. And it's like cutting out, yeah? But for example, for myself, is I keep it on 100% all the way and then the actual music is fading away into silence anyway. So what I do is I just extend that audio to silence and then I make a split and I make sure everything else is on 0% volume. And then either way, my video is just playing along with that and there's no cutoff frequency. I mean, there's nothing cutting off from that point because my video comes into play and the audio is in the background just dazing off and it just goes somewhere into distance. But there's no recollection of it cutting out on you. I mean, they're saying, I mean, my video just appears out of nowhere and the audio never shows you that there is a video coming in. I mean, saying that's the whole point, yeah. So make sure you understand everything is the word I that I said in terms of life is the word I. And I understand everything in terms of life is the word I. So everything that's said is the word I only. And that way you never limit yourself. So understand that you can do that. And then just make sure you're teaching people editing software and how to actually do life much greater. So if you understand anything, I understand straight away how I've been practicing in Port Macquarie in terms of the nice and beautiful Coffs Harbor over there, my nice and beautiful radio shows over there and how to do radio shows. And here I am finally being able to do this now. And it's just amazing that when you speak more words, then everything happens for you. And that's the whole point. And just keep speaking more words and deliver the words and deliver the words and deliver the words. And then suddenly you have the lifestyle. And that's how it is because that's how Jesus Christ says so. I see guys, if you press the video in your nice and beautiful you cut section, then what you can do is you can go and be someone who understands straight away how you can deliver content. So if you're delivering content, then what you can do is you can be careful about understanding that you can sort the nice and beautiful video files also in terms of what you're doing at the nice and beautiful way of life over here. So make sure you understand that what you do is you play, I mean, you just go and press the nice and beautiful video program in your UCAR and you go sort it out somewhere. And then all you do is you go to the start of the program over here 
And that way you must understand straight away that if you do that, then you understand straight away that you can go and dwell upon dragging yourself to go to the nice and beautiful start of your nice and beautiful UCAP application. So if you have four hours of editing there, you can also press the sort button and then from the sort button you have to press the videos. And then that way you press the first video that's in the sort button in terms of the sort button in your nice and beautiful UCAP application. And then from that way you never hate anybody, I never hate you. But the thing is, from that point you can go to the start of the video and at the start of the video you can place a nice and beautiful module of Idonotopia or some kind of let's say video program where you just come into the program and guess what happens? I promise you from that point it's much more how you feel it's much more professional for you to do so so as you actually understand what you do is you start off the video in silence and then suddenly you just appear in the video and that way you must understand that what you do is you go and do that for yourself so you can understand straight away how to actually grow yourself and then the whole point is making sure that you can orchestrate yourself to go and speak out everything that you want out of life because that's how you actually live life and you live life differently all the time to make sure that you're growing yourself to the complete nice and beautiful vibe so make sure that no matter what you can also drag and you can also upload maybe even one second or ten seconds or you can upload maybe five seconds of actual nice and beautiful Dinotopia or any kind of let's say video program and you can also place it on zero percent interest and you have to understand that way you have to understand that you are the word I and that way you must understand that from that point with UCAT application that what you can do is you can go and place the volume on the actual 0% and then that way it fades into the video and fade it into the video and place some kind of fade into it and as it fades in then you understand straight away how to actually live your life much greater because you can understand straight away how to go and do a greater life for yourself so what you do is you understand straight away what you need to do but what you do is if you want to place anything that's upside down or anything then just make sure that what you want to do is a greater life for yourself but think about this i mean make sure you're more professional i mean be more professional about what you're doing and that way you understand straight away to never place your video upside down or something like that i mean place it up front in terms of a way that's actually working so the whole point is making sure that if you understand anything about life here then make sure that you have that nice and beautiful gist i mean the gist of the way of life over here in terms of what you're doing is the nice and beautiful way of helping yourself to succeed differently but if you're helping yourself to succeed differently then you're focusing on helping yourself to have a fast kind of notion track in a way that's actually helping you move forward and as you have a nice and beautiful video that's actually working then what you can do is you can place your nice and beautiful speed of the actual let's say video to go faster and faster and faster if you want or you can make it go slower and slower and slower. But whatever's working for you is the best kind of way for you. So make sure you understand straight away that what you want to do out of life is making sure that you're showing a nice and beautiful mirror image of yourself to make sure that you're sawing out your nice and beautiful video in a better way for yourself to grow. And that's how you actually grow. I mean, you grow through different ways of growing yourself and you can also crop your video if you want. And you can crop it, in, I mean, you can crop it in a different way of what you want or you can just make sure that no matter what you have more enough success all the time to go and fade Welcome the video guys. and you can fade the video in different ways as well and what you can do is you can click the transition phase over here Welcome guys. and when you click the transition phase you can go and click whatever you want in terms of whatever type of video in whatever type of notion you want it to be in and that way you can go and see exactly what you want but what you want out of life is you can see a VHS, RLS VHS or whatever you want I mean the noise one looks nice and beautiful but every single time just make sure that you are learning very quickly upon what you want out of life but every single time you're just looking for the nice and beautiful aspects of life that's all different and it all works i mean everything works over here to make sure that you're showing yourself the kind of nice and beautiful way of life over here but the flash one it looks amazing over here so i'm not saying that no matter what it's more how i feel it just gets right into it so what i do over here is just i'm learning the nice and beautiful editorial techniques over here to make sure that I'm exploring the best kind of radio show track over here with my nice and beautiful YouTube account so that way I'm learning very quickly upon what I can do with the nice and beautiful UCAR application over here but I'm looking to teach myself first I mean, as I teach myself first then I can teach you so I just teach myself first what to do and then I teach you Actually, that's the whole point but if I teach you first before teaching myself then guess what Prashen then it's all confusion for myself I need to teach myself first what to do and then I teach you and now what I do now is I just focus on saving the project and I focus on just watching it first and before I save anything I watch it first 
and I just watch it for entertainment. And why do I do that? Just so I can see how it goes. And then that way I'm always learning for myself to grow. But just teach yourself only. I mean, just don't ever teach yourself anything. I mean, never even teach other people. I mean, teach yourself everything. And that way you're learning very quickly about what you want. Rosh, if you want to teach other people, then just teach yourself first, and that's it. I mean, stick to teaching yourself first, and that's how you live life. And that's the best kind of teaching, when you can teach yourself first. Because that's how it is. I see, so what I do, guys, over here is I start my nice and beautiful radio show with silence, with a nice and beautiful video, and then I come into the program with my actual video of my face. And that way, I'm understanding that when I do that, I feel much better about that, because I feel that the nice and beautiful video is much more professional when you see a, another video, in terms of another video, that's never myself at first, and then I just jump into the video with my face. And it feels much more professional for myself personally, because I feel I have to go and do it, and I understand straight away when I do it, I feel better, I feel better because I'm understanding that no matter what the Jesus Christ says over here, if you put yourself first, regardless of what happens, then you're just understanding yourself. But then understand that if I teach you how to do that, then you must understand how it feels, that if you go and really, really dwell upon helping yourself to succeed differently, then just make sure that you're reasoning upon whatever it is, and just make up a reason. I mean, make up a reason for anything, and that way you're teaching yourself even more. See, guys, you can change the speed setting of your actual videos. So what your videos can do is you can change the actual speed of the actual video and how fast it spins. And it's amazing. So if you're spinning your music track at one time, then so you can go at 100 times. And it goes really fast. And actually, your actual speed in terms of your fastness and your fast way of driving yourself to victory every single day is something better that if you understand how to tease people and how to go and send your music to them in a way that you can tease them, then all you do really is you just go and dwell upon a better way for yourself to grow, and then understand straight away how you can go and dwell upon something different where you can wash the dishes and you can do something else while your actual content is uploading. And then as you upload your content, I realize that for myself to upload on, on SoundCloud, I realize now if I upload on SoundCloud, I love it. Brush, it's much more how I feel that SoundCloud is another service, but guess what, Brush, it's much more how I just upload on YouTube, because that way I have more money. I have more money. And that way I'm understanding straight away how people can always listen to it on YouTube. And that's it. I love I approach Now what I want to do is I want to go make some rice over here. I'm making sure that no matter what, it's more how I feel to just go and do that for myself right now. So I can have some nice and beautiful food and drink. And also I want to make sure that this nice and beautiful content over here is around 4 hours long. So I want to make sure that I can just export that in a nice and beautiful fashion. So what I do is I'll let it be. And make sure that I just go and grow myself and I just talk to you because now I just want to stick to my words. I want to stick to my words. I've been understanding that I have more enough music. I always love music. I have everything I ever need. So what I do is I go and grow myself differently. But I'm feeling the day of reckoning. And the reckoning of my day is I'm doing better. I'm doing better with my words. I'm leading myself with words. I'm understanding that I said fucking six years ago, man. I mean, seven years ago, I said I want to get to a nightclub, man. I said seven years ago, I want to get to a nightclub at least, and I want to play my music. Seven years ago. I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, it's been seven years, man. And I still have to do it. I still have to get to a nightclub after seven years. And here I am now. I mean, finally, man. For fuck's sake. I mean, in a sense, so that's the thing, yeah? I mean, when you fucking have a dream and it fucking comes true finally, then you're fucking saying yes. I mean, then you fucking understand yourself. Because now... You fucking did all that work for yourself to be able to, to go and love I. I brush you did all that fucking work for yourself to be able to go to nightclubs. I love I. I brush you all that. Guess what? I brush you. I am somebody fucking so smart. I understand Jesus. I mean, Jesus Christ understands. I'm so smart. I went the long way. I went the long way of making music and I went fucking making five hour music and six hour music and seven hour music. I mean, same, but it's really been one hour music. I mean, one hour music and up to four and a half hours music and more. I mean, in a sense, no matter what, it's more how I feel that I've been making music. And I've been making from one hour to one hour and 40 minutes. And I've been making one hour to one hour. I'm doing better than that. I'm making more than one hour and 40 minutes. But I've been making music right now from one hour music to, in terms of, now, my nice and beautiful track, I want to make sure that you understand. I've been making music for over more than one hour. But the thing is, I don't want to limit myself. But the thing is, my either I Shall Never Kill track and Azonify and Adonotopia is all over 57 minutes long. Each. And my Adonotopia track is over 4 hours and 25 minutes. I mean, in a sense, so no matter what, you can see straight away, I've been making over an hour of music per track. And if you combine the tracks together, then it's over an hour of music 
each. And that's why I'm not saying that I'm going the long way about everything and I'm learning straight away how I'm just never angry because I'm speaking more words. But those people who are angry at me are angry at themselves because they need to speak more words. And they, I realize they never understand what that is. So just be careful when you're actually opening up anything in a packet. So what you want to do is open the packet with yourself at least and making sure that no matter what, they, if you want to understand anything about life, then make sure that you go and understand how it is to just go and dwell upon helping yourself to deliver whatever you need out of life in a way that you understand that always you have to go and grow yourself in different ways. So as you grow yourself in different ways, then just make sure you have whatever you need every single day to succeed because that's how you actually learn and you learn for different ways of doing whatever you need so every single day just focus on being careful upon how much you're making in terms of whatever it is and then understand straight away that this is more than enough for me over here but as I'm understanding something over here I'm understanding the one kilo over here and I'm understanding that it's more than enough for me to actually grow myself so actually what I do is I go and understand straight away how to grow myself in different ways and I'm learning. I'm learning how to go and just raise my vibe with my words. I raise my words with you all my life and then I'm making sure anyway I'm learning quickly upon how to actually dwell upon a better way of life for myself. But that's why I'm understanding straight away when people look at me today and I can see how they're looking at me and they're saying, oh, I mean, he's I mean he has a new track, man. I mean, he has a new track. I mean, he has something different, man. I mean, I can hear it, man. I can hear this track over here is something big. I can hear it, man. And that way I'm understanding straight away how I feel. But other people, I can see how they're trying to vibe with me and they're trying to stay with me. But I'm never low value. And I'm making, I'm making sure that no matter what, I just go and deliver content in a way that I'm learning quickly. And as I learn and grow, I'm focusing on different areas of life and I'm focusing on helping myself to deliver something. But I'm understanding that no matter what, I have more enough of everything that I need. And that's the whole point, yeah, I'm making sure that I'm always delivering content that I'm actually understanding. So when I eat rice every single day, I eat only 500 grams of rice max every single day. And why 500 grams? Because 500 grams of rice is more enough for me every single day to eat. And I mix up, I mix up rice with everything else. And that way I'm learning very quickly upon how I actually do my content. So because I do my content differently, I understand I have all these audio programs and now I'm feeling my data and everything I am with audio programs now because I understand that is how I actually grow and I grow for different ways of thinking and different ways of being but I ask Jesus Christ, I'm, un I'm, understanding, I'm understanding that I ask Jesus Christ to see this and it's more how I'm understanding how before I was never doing audio programs and now I'm doing audio programs and now I'm able to understand that before when I was going and doing shopping and I was doing shower and I was going in the car and I was sitting in the car and I was going everywhere without doing audio programs and now I'm doing audio programs all the time <laughs> I mean it's just a big difference man I mean it's just a new life I mean it's a new life I mean I've been reborn again in Jesus Christ I mean, I mean in a sense so that way I'm understanding how Jesus Christ straight away gets the audio program man and starts really really dwelling upon the audio programs right away and you must understand that what's important is understand Jesus Christ saying that it's more how I feel and it's how I feel every single day you must understand that when I'm actually doing something to help myself grow, I'm learning very quickly upon how I grow myself. But the thing is that you must understand that you have to use Jesus Christ knowledge to actually go and get yourself much more. In a sense, so when I look at Jesus Christ knowledge and I use his knowledge, I follow the Ten Commandments. I follow the Ten Commandments. I follow Jesus Christ's habits. I focus upon helping myself to succeed. And that way I have more enough success all the time to deliver. But make sure you understand every single day that if you want to focus upon something that's helping you, then I make sure that no matter what, I can also go and get myself the noodles. But the thing is, I focus upon doing that for myself so I can understand that, yes, I can have noodles and rice also together at the same time. And I focus on washing the dishes now. And I wash the dishes only when I'm actually cooking, and that's it. Or else when I'm boiling food, I'm washing dishes. I mean, that's how it is. I mean, the thing is about life, if you're focusing on helping yourself deliver, then make sure that you have the UCAR application with Samsung and make sure that you understand that it may be on the iPhone and UCAR application may be with the iPhone as well. But the thing is, though, if UCAR application, just be inside of the UCAR application and never touch the phone when you're doing a UCAR export because that way you understand straight away that you're somebody who understands that the actual UCAR application works faster when you're inside of the application than when you're browsing tabs of other tabs while the actual UCAR applications work in the background somehow and you're browsing other tabs, then it works slower. But if you're actually just in the actual 
Ute Cup application and you're never ever browsing other tabs or other websites with your phone, then it works faster when you're just inside the application of Ute Cup. And that's what I'm saying. I see that's why I'm saying what and how. And I'm understanding that no matter what, if you understand straight away how I feel about life, then I'm always washing dishes while I'm also talking to you. And I'm ha I have a new life, man. I have a new life. I'm doing something different, man. I'm making sure that you understand that over there in Gaza and Israel, I understand that no matter what, that they're going for, I'm personally going for a difficult time over there. And the thing is, I understand straight away, my life is prospering. And I'm understanding that other people can see how there's a war going on out there. But guess what, I promise you, I'm, I'm understanding that they see that in Daniel the world, which is world, well, promise you, it's excellent. I'm just doing excellent. You understand? So, when I'm doing something to help myself succeed differently, I'm focusing on understanding how other people are finding me an inspiration always. So I'm, I'm understanding that no matter what, that as I go and grow myself differently, I make sure I always have more enough courage to succeed differently, and that's why I'm learning and growing. And as I learn and grow, I'm learning how to go and prosper differently and that's why I'm always understanding that no matter what that when somebody has something new to give you then guess what I promise you then you get happy yeah but if I have something to give you I mean do you get happy I mean of course you get happy I mean then, so when you give people more and more I mean, what happens then I mean then people get happier when you're giving them more I mean when you're giving them more all the time then you're always focusing on that better life that you can have for yourself because that's how it is, yeah? So every single time, you're always focusing on helping yourself to deliver that content. So the content of life is making sure you never get angry at people's comments and what they tell you. And you never get angry at what they're giving you in terms of words. I mean, if they give you anything at all, you should be happier, regardless. But to be happier, you have to speak more words. And that's how you be happier. I mean, you can only be happier speaking more words. I mean, you understand? You make sure that no matter what, you're learning very quickly upon understanding what you need to do, do all the time to succeed but understand that the word of life is truth and if you have triple words with people then you have triple life of everything you ever want so make sure you understand that whatever you want out of life is to succeed differently and to make sure that you have that kind of nice and beautiful vibe all the time you understand that no matter what that you're learning very quickly i find how you're actually learning but you can see i'm only the word i and that way i'm understanding straight away i feel that other people may be gay but the thing is, I understand straight away that I'm never gay. I mean, then, but the thing is, just focus on yourself anyway. And I understand I'm gay in a happy way, in a way that I'm never the type of guy to go have sex with a guy with pleasure. I mean, I'm, I'm never the guy to pull my dick in somebody's asshole who is a guy or something. I'm, ne I'm never the guy to go sucking guys' dicks or something like that. I, I never do that. I mean, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm a straight guy. I, 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 I said I just go for Danny Milovoyevich in terms of the word I. But the thing is, every single day I'm learning very quickly upon how to grow and grow myself. But as I grow myself differently, I focus on creating interest. But if you're understanding how to do that, then it creates all the interest in the world when you understand how to speak words all the time. But that's how it is. Yeah? I mean, you have to teach yourself first. And as you teach yourself first, and then you understand straight away how to grow yourself. And as you grow yourself, then you have to understand that it's been a blast for me in Sydney over here. And why is that? Because I've been doing something different that other people are never doing. And as I grow myself differently, I make sure you understand that I have music to deliver. I mean, guess what? I promise you, it's more how I feel. So how I feel is how I say in terms of my words. And my words are life, man. I promise you. I promise you, when I can give you my words, I can give you my life. I can give you everything about me. I can give my story. I can paint a picture. I can craft words. I can, I can go and give you a public speaking seminar. I can make music. I can go and be with Jesus Christ. I can talk to Jesus Christ. I can go and do whatever I want because I'm a word freak. I'm a knowledge freak. You know what I'm saying? I love knowledge so much that I go search for it as much as I can and I give it to you as much as I can. And that's what I do, yeah? I make sure you understand straight away that what I do is always give as much as I can, always in different ways and I'm giving different materials in different ways to help myself at least. And that's how I actually grow myself. I grow myself especially in the best kind of regards to make sure I have more enough success and everything to help myself succeed and as I go and succeed differently I'm just learning I'm learning how to understand my life but I understand how other people just need money from me I mean, they just need money I mean they never need my words Probably they need money Probably they want a rich guy Probably they want a rich man or they want something that has a let's say Probably it's more how they are the people who want money or plastic material or they want something of body type nature. I mean, you understand? 
And they're looking for something different in terms of words, in terms of the actual physique. Unfortunately, they want a physique guy. Unfortunately, they want somebody who can give them material. Unfortunately, that's all they want. Unfortunately, they want you to have more success before they even consider you. But when I see them, unfortunately, when I see them, unfortunately, for fuck's sake, I ask Jesus Christ to see this. I mean, I see this woman want me to be so successful. Unfortunately, they want me to be so successful. I mean, for fuck's sake, they have no word I. I mean, they have no word I. I mean, they have, I mean, I, I understand how far, I mean, I, I understand with Jesus Christ, I'm speaking with Jesus Christ now. I ask Jesus Christ to see this. I promise you, I understand this woman, I understand how much I can speak over time in words, and they want me to be a success. I understand, I want, I want to be a success. But I see how much they are dying, and they never want to go for me. And then I realize they never want to speak more words, but they want more successful, guys. I mean, how the fuck does that work? <laughs> I mean, they never want to speak more words. And they never speak words like Danny Milovojevic at all. I ask Jesus Christ to see this. Brush, they never speak words like Danny Milovojevic can in a lifetime. And they're looking for more successful and they run away from you. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, guess what? <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, it's more how I need them to be more successful before they even come to me. <laughs> I mean, I need them to be able to go do what Danny Milovojevic can. There's a I need them to do what Danny Milovojevic can to do. I mean, do you understand? I mean, it's like they are so in confusion about life that they find themselves never talking as much as Danny Milovojevic and they fucking believe they're more valuable or something like this. I mean, I mean do you understand? And they only want more successful guys but they never want to speak like Danny Milovojevic can in a lifetime. I mean, do you understand? I mean, how's that work, man? I mean, that's the thing about life. I mean, I hear Jesus Christ say, I understand they're hypocrites, but is the hypocrites. Roshu, it's more how they are people who are in that nature. Roshu, is that a hypocrite? Roshu, that's a hypocrite, yeah? Roshu, that's a hypocrite when they never want to speak more words. Roshu, it's the biggest hypocrite I've ever seen in my life. I mean, Sam, but the thing is, I understand that what's important is understand straight away that they never even understand what they want. And like, I mean, they never even understand what they want out of life. But they never want to go for me because they want some guy who can give them material possessions. And that's what they believe is success. They believe successful people are people who have money and possessions. But never the words. They never look at the words. They're unaware of the words. I promise you, these women go strictly for people who can have a house or a car. That's it. That's the only reason they go for those guys. Because those guys have the car or those guys have a house or a bed to sleep on. And have some plastic money in their pocket. That's why the women are going for them. And that's it. I mean, you understand? But they never go for the words. They never go for the words. They never go for the word I, I promise you. They miss the word I completely. I understand that straight away. I can see it. I can see how many guys who can just get random women like this. I love it. Or should they can just get any kind of woman. I mean, you understand? So anyway, so what I'm doing now is I'm always learning how to just go and dwell upon something that helps me grow. So what helps me grow is just being able to cook my nice and beautiful rice over here with actual water. So I understand that if other people never reply to you in terms of life, then it's because they have nothing to give you. I mean, I, I mean those people who reply to you Prosh, they have words to give you. Prosh, they have something to give you in words. Prosh, if they never reply to you, Prosh, if they give you silent treatment, it, I realize it's because they have no words. Prosh, they have no love to give you. Prosh, they have nothing to give you. So if they never reply to you when you ask something, Prosh, it's because they're never coming to you. Prosh, they're never coming to you. And that's it. Yeah, Prosh, they're unaware of what they're doing. Prosh, they're unaware. I mean, you understand? Prosh, that's it. Prosh, and no matter what I do every single day, I'm learning very quickly upon how people are toward me, especially. And that's it. I'm learning how they coexist around life. And it's more how they're lacking. They're lacking words. They never trust my words. They trust other people's words. I ask Jesus Christ to see this. They never trust my words. They never trust Jesus Christ's words. They trust somebody else's words, man. I mean, I mean, you understand? I mean, how the fuck does that work? I mean, I mean... I mean, trust words overall, guys. I mean, trust every kind of word in the planet. I mean, the words are life, man. I mean, she never wants to trust my words. I mean, she never wants to trust Jesus Christ's words. 
When she wants to trust some guy who's Arab, who has a beard, because he has a beard, she trusts his word. I mean, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, the guy has a beard. And she trusts him. I mean, she trusts his words because he has 10 friends. I mean, she never trusts Jesus Christ's words, though. I understand? But she trusts circumcision guys. I mean, she trusts guys who have circumcision. I mean, that's ugly to me. I mean, understand? I'm never ugly, though. I'm never ugly. Or as all the world is good. I mean, the world is good overall, as Jesus Christ says. But make sure you understand. That women like, like that. First, they fucking trust some guys, and some guys they never trust. I mean, trust the world overall. I mean, why don't you never trust me? I mean, was I trying to fucking kill you or something? I mean, was I fucking trying to stab you in life? I mean, why don't you trust me? I mean, am I, or am I trying to get the gun to kill you or something? Or I just trust, I asked Jesus Christ to see this. I mean, I mean, those women never fucking trust me. I mean, was I trying to stab them today? I mean, was I trying to get the gun and fucking knife to kill them? <laughs> or should never trust me? I mean, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, they're lost. I mean, they never understand what I'm saying. Turns a lot. I mean, they never trust to talk to me. I mean, they never trust me. I mean, they trust other people and what they say about me. I mean, they never trust what I say. I mean, I, I, I'm never even trying to kill them today. I'm never even trying to stab them. I'm never even trying to eliminate them from this planet. But that's how women are. Or they're like that. Or they're the scary cats. I mean, understand? I mean, I mean, they're completely lost about life. I mean, that's exactly what Jesus Christ says over here. He says that people back then, when they put him on the cross, they're believing other people's words except Jesus Christ's words. I mean, do you understand? And those women were doing nothing to help Jesus Christ here. I mean, you understand? But some women were trying to help. But they're afraid. I mean, they're afraid for their life. I mean, you understand? But the thing is, understand that some women over there in Jesus Christ times never care. And they just still go, I mean, they still go for those men who killed Jesus Christ. I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, you understand? And the thing is, that they, approach, they never believe Jesus Christ's words. Or they believe some fucking hypocrite's words. Or they believe some fucking idiot over there. Who has a fucking beard or has a fucking nipple that looks sexy. But never wanna fucking be able to go and see Jesus Christ. I mean, understand? Probably everything of fucking images looks sexy. I promise you. Probably everything in images looks sexy. I promise you. The whole fucking world is good. But the thing is, they fucking go for men who are fucking below grade men. But they love it like that. Or they below grade woman. I mean, understand? Or then they fucking admit it and they say, "This is my man." I mean, your man, yeah. I mean, your man. Rosh, that's never your man. Rosh, that's never your man. I mean, your man is the words that you say. I mean, your man is the words you say. I mean, you understand? I mean, your man can never be your man. <laughs> I mean, life can never be yours. Rosh, life can be yours only in the words. Rosh, what did Jesus Christ say? I am the way. I am the way. I mean, what does he mean by I am the way? I mean, what's the first word there? I first. I am the way. I am the way. I mean, where is I? I first. I first. I mean, who am I? I first. I am I. I have to say I am the way. I mean, they're never the way for me. But as I grow myself in different ways of honor and making sure I'm successful in different ways, I'm making sure that I can see Hakuna Matata. I see a what a wonderful praise. I see Hakuna Matata. I see, ain't no frenzy pains. I see it means no worries for the rest of your days. I mean, in a sense, uh, make sure you understand that if you're singing all the time, then just focus on entertaining yourself in a way that you understand straight away how you feel about what you're doing. Because if you feel great about yourself, then feel great about understanding how to talk to yourself to grow and making sure you never have shame to talk. I mean, go and talk it up every single day. And talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But I'm not saying how other people I realize that they make music up to let's say 12 minutes of music only. And what happens is from that point I'm doing much better than that. But guess what? I promise you it's much more how I understand straight away it's the truth. And guess what? I promise you they believe that my music track over here that's over 4 hours long is around 3 minutes. Or around 6 minutes. Or around 12 minutes. 
and they hear all these tunes, huh, all the way. But they hear all these tunes and say, ooh, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's around 12 minutes long. I mean, that's what they're saying. But then when they see four and a half hours, <laughs> or shoot, it's more how I'm doing much better than that, but I'm making sure that no matter what that, then they see around four and a half hours of music in a Dinotopia and say, ooh, I have to listen to this, man. Or there's something about this guy, I can, I can see he's ringing a bell, man. I mean, he's ringing some kind of bell around here, man. I mean, he's really, really trying to be your DJ, man. I mean, he's a fucking DJ, bro. I mean, he's a fucking DJ, bro. I mean, did you hear him, bro? I mean, he's a fucking DJ. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> I mean, saying, so every single day, if you want to go and help yourself to grow, then learn how to go and learn to yearn, to understand your life, to lift your life every single day is the best kind of melody. And I'm not saying that these people are coming now very soon to see me about the FBOSS machine very soon. So I'm not saying that no matter what I see, give them the FBOSS machine and I make sure that no matter what I print some business cards and I go do my financing as well very soon. I have to do my financing and I have to see how much money I have here and there and here and there to see how much more money I can promote about my business. I have 1,050 bucks already gave. I gave 1,050 bucks already to have my birthday on the 29th of birthday in terms of my 29th birthday on the 28th of May, to have all these people around my birthday, to give me $20,000 on a day. That's it, I'll make some money on a day and there you go. I mean, sense, so no matter what, I'm much more professional, but other people can suss out that I have an event coming up. And it's the first thing about my life, that I have an event coming up, bro. I love I. I see bros and sisters, I'm probably sure I have something happening, man. I have something happening in a better way. But as I'm understanding straight away, that what I do, is I'm learning quickly about my life, but other people can never even catch up to my audios. Or they can never even catch up to what I'm doing. Because I'm, I have too much audio, I have too much to say, I have too much to do. But the thing is, then on the day, I just give them everything I can. On the day. I solve their fucking questions on the day, and that's it. I move on. And then guess what, I promise you, no, no matter what, that there's always more questions that people have to ask. And that's what I'm saying. Then you say, come to my next program. And come to my next programs, because there's always more information I'm giving in different scenarios. And you have to update yourself with me every single time that you see me around the world, you have to update yourself with me. And if I'm holding an event somewhere, then just see my events list page and where I am every single day. And that way you guys understand how to update yourself with my information. But my information, I'm always posting also online on YouTube about everything. I mean, come and check out my Mega Drive. I mean, come and check out my YouTube channels. I mean, come and check out everything I'm doing because that's how I update you. And then guess what, I promise you, then all this nice and beautiful knowledge that you have maybe been missing out on, I promise you, then come and see me at the live events. And I'll give you that kind of information and I'll update you. I mean, in a sense, no matter what, that from this point, I realize that they feel that they never need to come to see me anymore. I mean, in a sense, but the thing is that if they do come to see me, then it's a new crowd. I mean, if there's somebody, I promise you, if somebody comes to see me that's from the past in my crowds, Brush, they come to see me once and that's it. Brush, now my music, I have to keep coming back to see me here. Brush, they always have to keep coming back to see me. And why is that? Because my new music is something new. And it's something that is live. But I say to them really like this. I promise you, if you guys ever want to see me again live, to give you another public speaking program that's different in words, then guess what? Brush, then you have to understand that they find an interest here. Brush, they find interest because, yes, you guys have seen me today, but... Next time, there's more information. And what you do is you keep it more exciting about the curiousness about your business. What you do is you're giving the information anyway and you're giving them all the information possible. And guess what? I mean, no matter what, just tell them everything. I mean, tell them everything that you can to even get them to come again. And that's the whole point, yeah? So what you do is you say, guys, I have another program always coming up. I'm making sure I'm giving you more information. There's always more information to consider with me. And I'm making sure I'm teaching you more about spirituality and Jesus Christ and everything about life. But you have to come to my next event as well, somewhere around town, and just be able to go and see my events. And then what do I do with that? I mean, I what do I do from that point? I, 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 I told them nothing about how much content I'm giving them online. I make sure that they can come see me again, and again and again. Because if I say, hey, I'm giving everything online already, then they never want to see me again. I mean, in a sense, so the whole point is, tell them that, hey, I have content online that you can help you, but there's so much more information I can give you. I mean, in a sense, so you have to see me live for those information. Which that information is exclusive for people who see me. And that way you understand straight away how you're just always honest with yourself. 
And when you're honest with yourself, you're doing more. And you're doing more for yourself every single day. And that's the whole point, yeah? I'm cooking for myself now. I remember I remember when I was individual, I asked Jesus Christ to say this. I remember when, when I, I remember when I was able I, I remember when I was unable to cook. I, I remember when I was unable to cook like this. And when I never was a vegan. I made I made some improvements around here. But you have to understand straight away, it's more how I feel. And why do I ask Jesus Christ anything? I mean, why do I ask Jesus Christ to see this? I ask Jesus Christ to see everything because without Jesus Christ, I mean, how do I understand this life? I ask always God to come into my life. I mean, same because the more you ask, the more you shall receive what you want. And God straight away comes to you. When, as soon as you ask God to come to you, God comes to you. And that's the whole point, isn't it? I mean, the whole point is being able to have somebody who comes to you when you call out to them. Always. And that's the whole point of life. I mean, the whole point of life is helping yourself to succeed differently. So go and focus on helping yourself to deliver content and go and see what's happening around the world with a laptop or something like that and connect it to your portable speaker and be able to go and understand how to use your laptop to watch YouTube as well if you're eating and drinking is a way. So then you update people about everything and then I also have to update you about the bank's financing and everything. And I have to go ask the bank also more questions about everything. And I'm understanding that no matter what, there's always more to give. And there's always more to do every single day. But I have food to drink to eat. I promise you over there in Africa, I promise they're struggling to eat food and drink. I promise they're struggling to eat food and drink. I mean, you understand? So what I do is, I never eat that oil and ch ch chili flake food. When I see oil and chili flake food, I never eat that. I never eat anything that's oil and chili flakes. But I eat chili flakes without oil. You I mean, understand? I was eating the oil with the chili flakes before. Actually, it made me sick, man. I had to vomit. I mean, there was so much oil in that. And that oil is fatty food. And you never need to eat that oil that much. I love it. I promise you, although, I must understand, even a bit of that oil and chili flakes, I promise you, it's, promise you it, it never even... Bro, she never even comes close to even chili, man. Bro, she's never even chili anymore. I promise you, it's just fucking a waste of time. I'm never wasting my time though. <sighs> I realize that what's important for myself over here is focusing on having a greater lifestyle for myself. But as I have a greater lifestyle for myself over here, I'm looking to dwell upon a better way for myself. I'm understanding how life is and how life is different for me, especially. But since I'm actually different about life itself. I'm always learning something along the way. I'm doing something new, always. And I have to go and clean my laptop over here as well. I have to make everything look new again. Mm -hmm. And that way I'm understanding that's my portable speaker connecting to my actual laptop. So as soon as I, let's say, lift the lid on my laptop, then my actual nice and beautiful portable speaker connects to my actual content in terms of my actual laptop because I lift the lid. I lift up the laptop and then I go into the laptop and website and then my actual portable speaker connects to myself over here and turns my laptop quickly and does it on its own. So what I want to do is I want to go and watch something. I understand straight away how much more content I can watch, but I want to go and see Robert Kiyosaki straight away, bro. I'm going to approach you. Robert Kiyosaki has the actual information of economics over here. And I'm just curious about economics these days. And why is that? Because I'm always reading about cryptocurrencies and stock markets and all that. And I'm just reading and reading and reading and then eventually I understand what to do. Because I read so much. And that way I'm understanding straight away how to just go and do greater. So I'm understanding that no matter what, I'm doing greater. And as I do greater, I'm lifting myself. And that's the whole point. I see so guys with Donald Trump. I mean, you must understand that either way, that he's been trying to help people. But guess what, Brosha? Now Biden's doing even worse than him. I mean, why is that? Because you can just see it. So Donald Trump is actually doing better than Biden in terms of what's happening around real estate. And that's it. Brosha is just around real estate. And you must understand that either way, that now, because of what's going on with the politics out there, I promise you, I understand these people over here in Australia, I promise you that John Morrison guy, I you, the Morrison guy in terms of life, I understand his name is John Morrison or something like that. So let's have a look over here. I see Australian president. I say Australian president. I say prime minister is what they say over here. So I'm understanding John Morrison or what's his name over here? I see Scott Morrison. So Scott Morrison and there's also Malcolm Turnbull. There's a there's also Malcolm Turnbull. Or as Turnbull. I said Malcolm Turnbull. And there's also Tony Abbott and there's Kevin Rudd and Julie I mean Julia Gillard. And there's also Julia Gillard and Kevin Rudd and John Howard. 
Then also Bob Hawke and also Paul Keating. Gosh, these are all people from the past. But I'm understanding that no matter what, these other people, like Sir John McQuain, and there's also John Gorton and William McMahon, and also Gough Whitlam and Malcolm Fraser and Paul Keating and Harold Holt and Robert Menzies and Ben Chiefley and Frank Ford and John Curtin and Arthur Fadd and Robert Menzies and Early Page and Joseph Lyon. I see Joseph Leons. I see Joseph Leons. I see James Scullin. I see Stanley Bruce. I see Billy Hughes. I see Andrew Fisher, I see Joseph Cook, I see Andrew Fisher, I see Alfred Deacon, I see Andrew Fisher, I see Alfred Deacon again, I see George Reed, I see Chris Watson, I see Alfred Deacon again. So Alfred Deacon is, in terms of, has been the Prime Minister already three times. And I can see Edmund Barton as well. So Edmund Barton is the first Prime Minister of Australia. So there you go. I mean, in a sense, so uh, anyway, I see these Prime Ministers of Australia now. I can see exactly how each and every single one of them went. So I'm not saying that out of all of them, for sure, I can see straight away that no matter what, I can see straight away that out of them, I can see it's more how I feel. I, I can see it's more how they have the same regard. But Kevin Rudd has been president over here in terms of Prime Minister twice in Australia. So I'm just learning. I'm probably sure they're all equal. For sure, all that I understand straight away. When I look at the knowledge, I can see straight away that they're all just, let's say, what can I, I mean, what can I say, man? I mean, they're following America. I mean, they're following America. I understand. I mean, who's the best out of them? I pressure you. Who's the best? I pressure you. Guess what? I pressure you. It's more how I understand the best. I mean, everybody's the best. I mean, everybody's the best. But you must understand that it's more how they're making a difference. I pressure you. They're making a difference here and there. I mean, I mean, understand. But are they doing anything to really help you? Pressure, guess what? Pressure, doing something to help you behind the scenes. Pressure, doing something to help you, but it's more how I understand straight away what's happening with them. And as I understand straight away from my life over here, I'm learning very quickly upon how to go and achieve greatness. And I understand Julie Gillard is the first woman of Australia to be Prime Minister. There you go. I mean, sense, so no matter what, that I have to add them also in my nice beautiful dictionary as well. I'm letting it be now. I make sure that no matter what, that I can go and just let it be that way. I'm making sure that I can just write something down as well. That I can go and dwell upon better. So what I do is I just say over here, the Prime Ministers of Australia. And I'm making sure that every single time I'm always focusing on understanding something. So I just say Prime Ministers of Australia. And I let it be that way because that's just how it is, yeah? But... How I do life now is differently. I just go and do something different for myself to grow. I said that's why I'm actually learning. I see what's important, guys, is that your voice memo is always on. So you can just press the play button whenever you want. And make sure that you never lock your phones when you're doing a voice memo. Unless you stop the voice memo altogether. It's the best time. So make sure you understand that what you're doing also is making sure that no matter what, that with rice, that you're cooking the rice in the boiling water and the pasta and also the spaghetti around, let's say, 15 minutes in the boiling water is more enough. I promise you that's my experience. I was just saying to Jesus Christ how my nice and beautiful trophy is the actual portable speaker, but I understand the soccer players over there with the UEFA Champions League and all the basketball players and all these sport people when they lift the trophies because they won the championship. But then I lift my portable speaker and I say, Champion! I am the champion, my friend! And I'm lifting my portable speaker and then I say, Hey! At least I can listen to music on my trophy. I can listen to music with a portable speaker, mate. I mean, that's my trophy. But you have some fucking trophy that looks like a cup. Where you can drink water out of it. I mean, I mean, fucking big deal. Because I have a fucking portable speaker over here. That can fucking plump all the fucking best music in the planet. And that's my best trophy. And guess what? I promise you, it's much more that I have a better trophy than that. And I have Jesus Christ. I have my word I. But I'm not saying it's a better trophy than what they fucking have. Because at least I can fucking pump, I can pump music on it. But their trophy is a fucking cup. I mean, fucking big deal. See, what you guys have to do is, before you actually eat something, just make sure to blow on it before you eat it, because it may be too hot. So you just blow on the food first, because if you're eating too much hot food, then actually, once you digest the food, then, I mean, you can actually feel how hot it is inside of your body. So make sure you're eating 
food that's actually warm and never fucking boiling hot because that way you understand that you're never fucking causing yourself cancer or anything like that because that way you understand straight away you just go and eat much better in a way that you're never burning yourself and you're never burning your tongue you never fucking burn your tongue to eat something I mean you say I mean I mean eat something that without having to hurt yourself is what I mean and that's how you do better I see anybody who loves you also messages you guys so make sure you understand straight away you have friends and those people who message you so just do better I see also guys when I'm eating anything that may be too hot I make sure that either way I place it back into the actual bowl or actual sauce in terms of actual saucepan or frying pan and I just spit it back out into the food <laughs> I mean sense so make sure you be careful and blow on your food before you eat so you never actually burn yourself and so you actually never burn yourself please and that way you do better I see guys when you're eating something then just make sure you're trying all different types of ways of eating with different types of ways and that way you're making sure that once you do that then you can go and eat a better way for yourself because you're just testing to eat in a way that you're eating in a way that's actually helping you to test new food and testing new tastes in life and then that way you're understanding how to eat I see so there's this woman who is yelling in terms of America and Robert Kiyosaki is calling her a communist so just make sure you understand so when I hear people who are calling or judging other people in certain ways and I'm just calling them out in a way that I'm showing you what they say about them so you can learn about that information and so that I can learn something too I see guys so when you understand for example real estate is dependent on jobs and I'm not saying that Robert Kiyosaki just said that but it's just so I can learn that too <laughs> but that's how you apply information you teach people what people are teaching and also I just did place my nice and beautiful chili flakes and I do place chili flakes on rice and I do place chili flakes on any kind of food that you can and I eat it and it's actually nice and beautiful to eat chili flakes with other food and then just go and understand I put peanut butter on rice I put peanut butter on actual pasta as well and I put bolognese sauce with actual chili flakes and peppercorn in terms of pepper and also peanut butter and baguette and I place everything into a soup as well such as peppercorn and peanut butter and also chili and also anything to do with bolognese sauce and vegeta and you have to understand also you can place soy milk in a bowl with rice and you can make something always and just go and experiment please because that's how you do better and I feel myself understanding Melbourne's coming up for me soon so what I want to do in Melbourne is I want to go over there to make an event but what kind of event? For actually it's music events for actually, especially music events over there and now since I can live in Melbourne too then I can go create I can go create an event over there in Melbourne somewhere with life coaching and then go promote myself everywhere. So that's what I can do while doing busking performances over there. And that's something different, but that's a better time for me. I can feel it. I can feel this. I, I, I can feel a nice and beautiful Melbourne time over there. I can feel I'm already somewhere in the music scene and I'm already doing some life coaching and I have some money behind me. And also I can live there as well and I can do some busking performances and I'm single. I'm single. I understand all that at this point in time, I'm understanding I'm still in that... I'm actually somebody who actually can have a girlfriend in that time of growth. I mean, I can, I can have a girlfriend. But the thing is, I'm still somebody who's understanding that at this point in life, I understand that no matter what, if it happens, it happens. I'm making sure you understand straight away that what I'm doing is I'm doing a great job from this point of view. But anyway, in terms of Ibiza, for sure, when I get to Ibiza, for sure, I'm already someone skyrocketing around the world. I'm already skyrocketing just like Steve Aoki, for example, right now. And Steve Aoki is going around the world, traveling everywhere. And Ibiza, I'm already fucking somebody, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm somebody of a millionaire already, Ibiza. Russia, anywhere else in terms of the world over there in Utrecht. I mean, in Utrecht over there, I'm having the fucking blast of my life over there. I mean, in Spain, Camino, Russia, that's coming up very soon. And I'm always doing a blast over here too. I'm, I'm making sure I'm doing a blast right now in my words. But that's the whole thing, man. And the whole thing is understanding that if you want somebody in words, and you, or if you want their words because you want that kind of look to you, then you understand that if you want their words with that look, then guess what, I promise you, you can shop around and you can do whatever you want. And that's the whole point, yeah? And the whole point is making sure that you go for the words and never for what they've been doing in this world physically. And that way you understand straight away how to actually get in a marriage with yourself and other people. And it's more the words. I mean, the words is what you want. And that's how you actually connect with people, through words. And there's nothing else to do other than words. And that's why I'm always much more alone. I'm, more <coughs> I'm always much more alone than with other people. Because I'm much more happier alone than being with other people and other people are limiting and they limit you to how much you can talk but when you're alone probably there's no limits upon how much you can talk with yourself but with other people there's always limits to how much you can talk with them so never talk with other people but just talk with yourself and then you have no limits in life but if you always have somebody who's 
actually trying to talk with other people, then there's always limits with that. Because if I try to talk to you and you never reply to me for one month, then that's a one month fucking limit right there. But I have no fucking limits at all. I have no one month limits. I am only talking to myself more than you. Regardless, I may talk to you and you may never reply to me. But I'm talking to myself more anyway. And that's why I bypass everything that's happening and I just talk and talk and talk more. And I'm fucking doing greater. And that's how, I mean, that's how I do life. And better than art, I'm making sure that no matter what, I'm learning how to quickly deliver content and that's how you do it. I realize when you deliver content, then just make sure you're always reading as well so you can go and study upon doing better. I said, so you must understand that Robert Kiyosaki is saying that the banks, he's seizing his money. And his money is in the bank's account. And he has many, I realize he has a lot of money in the account. And guess what? The thing is that when he, I realize when you or somebody else has a lot of money in the bank account, first then the banks want your money. And they say, this is our money now. And it's never your money. And they steal your money. And they steal your money. And that's what they did to Robert Kiyosaki. When they stole his money. When he has, I mean, he has money in his bank account. And they're stealing his money because they never want him to have power over money. So what you do is realize that Robert Kiyosaki is having this, let's say, orchestra around himself where he's making vaults of gold. And he places gold vaults around the world. And he's putting all his money into gold. I mean, you understand? And why? Because he never wants to give it to the bank. But guess what? I promise you, the thing is, you have to give. I mean, you have to give to the bank. Everything. But Robert Kiyosaki is so afraid of the bank here. And he's afraid that other people are going to steal his money. Because somebody stole his money already. I mean, you understand? But guess what? I promise you, the thing is, that nobody can steal his words. I mean, nobody can steal his words. But guess what? In this situation, you should make sure you understand that Robert Kiyosaki is going around putting it in vaults and gold around the world. Because he says to you that that's what they do to you too. And if you have so much more money than everybody else, then the bank comes after you and says, this is our money now. And this is, or as they say, this is our money now and it has nothing to do with you anymore. And you may have $50 billion in the account. And they say, it's never yours anymore. I mean, for fuck's sake, I made that money. I made that money. But the bank never cares. I mean, they say, because you're somebody who's ruling over them in money. I mean, they say, so guess what? I mean, when, or as if that happens to you, then make sure you understand that what you can do before that is go and do what Robert Kiyosaki is doing. And place your money into vaults around the world as well. But now, guess what? Probably it's more how I, I see this. I see this. But does Jesus Christ do this? Probably Jesus Christ says, it's much better that you do that. It's much better that you do what Robert Kiyosaki is doing and you go and make these vaults around the world and put everything into gold. Because that way your money is going into gold instead of the bank. Because the value of money is losing anyway. <clears throat> I mean, the value of the money in terms of currency is losing its value. But if you place it into gold, then there's no chance that your money can lose value. <laughs> and that's what Robert Kiyosaki is teaching you now. And Robert Kiyosaki is teaching you that gold never loses value. And that's insurance, he says. And the gold's insurance. So if you place your money into insurance, then you can never lose it. But if you put your money in the bank, then the bank takes it away from you. And that's what Robert Kiyosaki is stating. And it's the truth because Robert Kiyosaki is speaking it out in terms of words. That they stole his money. And they rob his money like that. I mean, in a sense, what you do is what you do around life in terms of real estate now is go and make all the real estate you can and get the cash flow and put it into gold. I mean, do the same thing as Robert Kiyosaki. I mean, from real estate cash flow, goes back into your business and into gold, and that's it. Or into other real estate. So what you can do with real estate in terms of Grant Cardone, what he does is he goes around the world getting real estate and he puts the money from the real estate into other real estate. And he just keeps doing that and he spins the tornado here. And that's what he's saying to do. But then guess what, Broshi, if you have any leftover money, then guess what, I mean, you sell the gold and get yourself real estate. And you can do that if you want. I mean, if you give $5,000 of gold, then it's always 5000 gold that you can withdraw. I mean, understand? Because it never loses value. I mean, gold never loses value over time. So what you understand now is put all your money into gold and then withdraw it and put it into real estate, <laughs> is what I'm saying. And then once you understand that, then just keep spinning the whirlpool of tornadoes around putting your money and giving your money into yourself 
and then make sure you understand that's how you prosper with Jesus Christ as well. And you must understand, you just follow Jesus Christ and you have all the money in the world because it's the information of Jesus Christ is what we're talking about. I mean, if you want the image of Jesus Christ, then it's everything you see. And if you want the image of Danny Milovoevich, then it's everything you see. I mean, everything you see about Danny Milovoevich. You understand? I mean, everything that you can see in this lifetime is Danny Milovoevich. I mean, you understand that? And I have a better image of myself now as well. But the thing is, every single day, focus on understanding that once you make all the money with real estate and business, in terms of your business, goes into real estate. And from real estate, goes into other real estate or into gold. Or you can just go into gold and then from gold, withdraw the money to put into real estate. And then you get more money from real estate that goes into gold and make more gold. And then you have more money. And then withdraw the money from gold and put it into real estate. And then make more real estate and then put it back into gold. And that's how it is, yeah? And that's how you do life. And that's how actual Robert Kiyosaki goes around the world. And he has these private vaults around the world because other people are stealing his money. I mean, you must understand. And other people, such as the banks, never care about him. I mean, you understand? I love you. So learn from that quickly and make sure that you make yourself private vaults around the world. And store physical gold. I mean, go get yourself physical gold. And that gold, in terms of life, you can sell it. I mean, guess what? But if you sell the money, I mean, if you sell that physical gold, I mean, how do you really sell that money? I mean, how do you sell the physical gold? I mean, the thing is, that if you try to sell something for money, you never try and sell that for money, you try and sell it for words. I mean, you try and sell something on words. So if you're trying to sell something that's physical possessions, I mean, you can never sell physical possessions. I mean, you can only sell your words. And then, once the words connect with the person, then they give you the money. I mean, you understand? I mean, they only give you the money, once you have a connection with them. So if I want to sell you my iPhone, then I never sell you the iPhone, I sell you the words to get the iPhone. I sell you on the words, I never sell you on the iPhone. <laughs> I mean, and that's how you become something much greater and that's how you can actually go and succeed for yourself now in selling whatever you want. And you can sell whatever you want because it's never the aspects of life that's physical but the spiritual aspects that you're selling only. And when you sell the spiritual aspects, then, Roshi, when you sell the spiritual aspects then you're selling the words, and that's how you get the money. But if you're selling the physical aspects, then you get nothing. Or else you get nothing in the physical. Or else you get nothing in the physical aspects of life, and you only ever get anything in the actual spiritual domes of actual talking with yourself and other people. So what I'm doing here is I can read all day long with people, and then read and give you the knowledge, and read and give you the knowledge, and I can read and give you the knowledge all day long, and I can break apart my nice and beautiful audio to talk to you while I'm talking to you, but also reading to get information to talk to you about that information is what I can do. And then if I get an idea about something, then I pause the audio content on my YouTube and I talk to you about that. And I give you the answer of what I believe that answer is. And I just fucking keep going and that's how I get smarter. 